Welcome to Mondays with Meg. I am so excited to have this time with you this morning as we talk about how to recover from burnout and really just avoid it altogether for good because, you know, it's, it doesn't help. It's not good for us. Um, is burnout, right? Like, I know we feel it. I know we've all been through it. Um, but what is it? And so I looked up um, what medical professionals describe burnout as. And what I found was this. It is a state of chronic stress that leads to a physical and emotional exhaustion, cynicism and detachment, and feelings of ineffectiveness and lack of accomplishment. Yeah, we got to talk about this, guys. So I don't, I don't know if you, if you really heard me for that, but what I, what I heard from that description of burnout was chronic stress, physical and emotional exhaustion, cynicism and detachment, and feelings of ineffectiveness and lack of accomplishment. Man, nobody has time for that, right, guys? But. I want to be honest with you guys, like, I was there. I was there, you know, not too long ago in our distant past. And um, I really started feeling this way. And I don't know if you can relate to me. Give me a heart or something if you've ever been through a period or maybe you're even going through a period right now where you are feeling these types of things, this kind of burnout, this overwhelming exhaustion. Um, well, I will tell you when, when it happened to me, it's because I was trying to do way too much all at once. Just like you, I, I literally am, am no different from any, any of my friends on here. Um, I'm just like you. I, every day I juggle my family, my special needs, precious dogs, uh, my friends, my volunteering, um, the volunteering work I do, um, doing this weekly video broadcast. I do things like leading workshops. Um, I create content for my business and a full schedule of client work from all my beautiful coaching clients that I work with. Um, and then also just managing the rest of my business and, you know, trying to maintain a social life in the middle of all that. Um, and you know what? Sometimes it's just, it's not sustainable, guys. Um, and I don't know if you want to hear that today because I know that we really want to feel like we can do it all, but we're not really meant to do it all, guys. Um, I feel like I need to bring that up here. Um, and, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, it used to be super common for me to feel things like being stressed out. I would feel sick, tired, overwhelmed, sometimes even depressed. I would be anxious. I would feel kind of out of control with stuff or, or almost like a failure to, to people in my sphere. I would sometimes feel like a play failure to my clients, to my friends, to my family, to myself, to colleagues. Um, it was awful. Like, it felt horrible. Um, and so if you're there right now, just know I get it. Like, I understand the feeling. And I don't know about you, but so what I had to do was I had to acknowledge this truth that I was burnout. And I absolutely needed to break this never ending cycle of like being burnout, recovering from it, feeling burnout again. If I was really going to make a change, a real change, and not just keep going through this exhausting cycle that I had going. So, um, I went ahead and I finally figured out what needed to happen. And so I really want to share this with you today, because not only do, if you're already feeling burnout or overwhelmed, not only do I want you to, um, to break free from that right now, but I also don't want you to continue to live this way because man, we need you so full, 100% ready to give everything all you have. The world needs that from you. So. I'm going to be sharing with you today these steps that I figured out for um, for really how to recover from burnout and then make sure it just doesn't even happen anymore. So I'm so glad you're with me on this today, friends. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to absolutely stop what you're doing, okay? 
as soon as you realize that you're feeling burnout or overwhelmed, um, or maybe you're just on the path to it, like you feel it coming, because I think we do. I think we kind of, uh, we know we're almost there, right? I need you to absolutely stop what you're doing. Seriously, hear me. Stop what you're doing. I need you to stop posting on social media, stop doing the millions of things that you're doing, whatever the big thing is that you're working on, please stop. I need you to stop. I know it's going to feel impossible to stop, but it is possible because chances are the reason why you're feeling so burnout is because of all these different things that you have to do, all these different things that are pulling at you. So in order to even begin to break this cycle, I need you to stop doing all the things. And that doesn't mean you need to stop doing them forever. Okay, you guys. Um, but I need you to put a pause. Just press pause on, on all the things on your to-do list right now. And then that brings me to the next step, which is I need you to take a break. Okay. Now, you've stopped what you're doing. You're going to take a break. And ideally, I, this would at least be for a day. Okay. If you can take a break for longer than that, I highly suggest it. If you could do a weekend, if you could do a week, that would be awesome. But, or really just whatever time you need. But if you can't, at least if you can just for a day, shut everything down, shut everything off and take a break. Okay. I'm telling you guys, this is life changing stuff. So during this break, what I'm going to need you to do is go through the rest of these um, steps I'm going to be talking through with you today so that you can absolutely break this burnout cycle once and for all. Okay. So you're on this break. And the next thing I need you to do is I need you to say no, or I need you to say not right now. You can, you can pick whichever one's going to work for you. And you might even do a combination of no or not right now, but I need you to start putting some boundaries in place. And saying no to any kind of new opportunities or invitations that come your way is really the way to begin, okay? So when I was in this process of feeling so incredibly burned out, I went ahead and I even took it a step further. And I told all of my people close to me, all my friend, my family, my friends, my colleagues that I work with, I told them all that all the new opportunities that came my way, I was going to be saying no or not right now to. And the reason why I told all of them was honestly to be a extra layer of accountability for me because I know I needed that. Um, I know it wasn't just enough for me to tell myself because when it was just me, like I still kept saying yes because I just love helping people, right? Well, I can't help people if I'm burned out. I can't do it. So um, it helped me to add this extra layer for these people in my inner circle, for them to know I was saying no. So if they saw me begin to start taking something on, that they could very lovingly say, Meg, now, remember, we are not doing that right now, but not right now. And that would remind me, you're right. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't want to get burnt out. Okay, so, you know, this could mean different things for you. Um, it could mean different, you know, saying no or not right now to different things in your life, whether it's through your business, whether it's through your personal life, through um, other things that you are taking on. I need you to say no and not right now. It's not easy, but know that the things you're saying yes to, if you say yes to any more, you are going to stay burned out and that you, you will not be able to give your best in that space. So I really want to encourage you in that way to say no, or just say not right now. I promise you the right person will be there to take on this thing that you're not going to be able to do. And it's going to be life giving for them. It's not going to take their life away. Like what's happening to you right now. Can I get a heart? Has that happened to you? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so happened to me. When I finally took a step back and said, not right now, the perfect people were put in place to do this thing that wouldn't have been put in place if I kept saying yes. Okay. So 
believe me, you, you, it's just going to help you so much if you're able to decide what your boundaries are for your current season and what you can start saying no or not right now to right now. You don't have to say no forever, guys, but really commit to doing this until you can get your life in better balance. Everyone is going to be so happy that you made this decision. The next thing that you need to do at this point is to start really prioritizing your self-care regularly, okay? When you are on this path to burning out, it's, it's common for you to begin to do things like neglecting yourself, stopping doing all the things that are really good for you. I know this is what happens to me. So please hear me right now, friends. You are your best asset. And the only way to really recover from burnout is by taking care of yourself regularly, making this a regular practice in your life. And that means that in order to do that, you need to prioritize your um, all the things in your schedule, the time that it takes for you to do things that make you feel like your best self, whatever that is for you, whether that's your quiet time daily or a couple times a day, if you need that, if that's what you need. Um, showering, you know, like simple things like that. Working out, um, meal planning, eating better, you know, getting a massage, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, whatever it is for you, going to Target, whatever these things are for you, making time to write, making time to do a craft you enjoy, anything, whatever that looks like for you, having an adventure, really inking in that time, I would say even before other things to make sure that you're able to stop this burnout cycle. Okay. And the last thing is to reevaluate this. This is the most important step in this process from recovering from burnout. And um, I will tell you, if you're on the path to burnout right now, just going through what I'm going to talk about next um, is going to stop you in your tracks before you get there. And I'm so excited to share that with you. So there's actually two different parts to this reevaluating that you're going to go through. The first thing is you need to write everything down. Okay. I need you to set a timer um, and just write down every single thing that you're doing right now in this season, in your life and in your business, whether it's big or small, I need you to do this brain dump and just get it all out of your head, get it all out of your heart and write it down. This does not have to be perfect. It is just a brain dump, but I need you to get this out of inside of you and get it on to paper. Okay. From there, the next thing that I need you to do is assign each of these things a category. Okay, so you have this mega list, this brain dump of all the things that you're doing right now, and you need to assign each task to one of these different categories. Okay, guys, so these different categories that I'm going to give you, they're going to help you to prioritize and plan how you're going to move forward and make changes. Okay, so the five categories are, are what you're going to stop doing what you need to work on later, like not right now, Um, what are maybe some things that are happening that need you need to create some systems or um, automations around? The next thing is what can you delegate? And then the last thing is um, what are you going to keep doing? Okay, like what's working? What's going? um, So like I was saying, the last thing that you're going to do after you've made, put your, all your to-dos, all your tasks, into these five categories, you're going to go ahead and start making these changes, okay? I need you guys to start walking this out. Now that you've learned what you need to stop doing, what you need to work on later, what you need to automate or put systems around, what you need to delegate, or what you need to keep doing, what is working well, um, you now know what you need to change to recover from this burnout and prevent the cycle for con- from continuing for good, okay? So I promise you, taking some time off and taking the time, creating the space to work through this is going to be a game changer for you, okay? So I hope this helps. I know it was helpful for me to go over and um, now that I'm back from vacation to go ahead and move forward with as I start my week back. Um, But I have some questions for you, like, have you ever been burnout? Are you burnout right now? Talk to me about that. Leave a comment here. 
let me know with how you recovered from it, how you're planning on recovering. If you're planning on doing these tips that I shared with you today, I would love to hear about that, you guys. Um, any tips that you might have, maybe that I didn't share, they might help somebody else. So go ahead and make sure that you share those with us today. And then next Monday, I'm going to be back right here, same place, same time. And we're going to be talking about gratitude. We're moving into November, and um, I think it's time to focus on being intentional about being thankful. So that's what we're going to talk about next week. Friends, I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful start to your week. Make sure that you share this with um, with people who you think this could help. And I want to hear from you. So let me know how this goes this week. Let me know if this helps with your burnout. And know I love you so much. And I hope you have a fabulous week. Okay, friends? Bye-bye.